Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can fix a common fault when you're trying to connect up your Xbox One S controller, that's this one with Bluetooth, to your Android mobile phone. Now at the moment when this video is made it doesn't work with iOS devices but you can get it to work with your Android phone. But on this particular phone it will recognize the Xbox controller but yet when I go to click on it to pair it it will just whir around for ages saying it's pairing but it never actually connects so an easy way to fix this is to reset the network settings so I'm just going to show you it at the beginning not working because if you're watching this video there's a good chance you've come on here because you're having problems with it and then once you reset the network settings I will then show you it working at the end. One thing to try before you do any of this is updating your controller so if you plug it into your Xbox and just update it like you would normally just to see if that makes any difference. So just to show you it not working I'm just going to turn on the Bluetooth more settings here I'm just going to turn on the Xbox One S controller and hit the sync button up the top here so now they're both looking for each other and as you can see it has come up with Xbox wireless controller but when I go to click on it it will say pairing and I'm going to fast forward this bit now because it will stay like this for about a minute or two and then the controller will still try and pair so the lights flashing but the mobile phone just gives up and it just goes back to saying Xbox wireless controller again and then you press it again and it tries to pair again. So I'm going to fast forward it now. Okay so as you can see it's given up and you can do that again and again and the same thing's going to happen. So what we need to do is a network settings reset. Now I believe this is only possible to do if you're running Android 6. So that's also known as Android M. M stands for Marshmallow. So basically it's when you perform a network settings reset in Android 6 a number of features are restored to default. Affected settings are Wi-Fi, mobile data and Bluetooth. So the main thing that you'll probably notice is when you do this you will no longer have the Wi-Fi so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to enter in the password off your router again so it might be called a, a wireless key it might be called a passphrase or a password it's the you know the, the the phrase at the back of the router that you need to enter in so after you've clicked on your network you need to enter that in for it to go back onto Wi-Fi again so be careful when you do this afterwards don't just start searching those of things because you could be using your cellular network outside it might end up costing you money so make sure you set up the Wi-Fi network again but have a little pause and read through this list here at your own pace okay so here is the setting itself So you can either go to your settings here if you've got it as a shortcut, if not just scroll down until you find your settings and then what you need to do is you need to go down to where it says backup and reset, tap that and then if you have a look here it will say network settings reset and if you have a look up the top you can see that my phone currently is connected to Wi-Fi. So let me do the settings reset and it says here this will reset all network settings including Wi-Fi, mobile data and Bluetooth so that's the one we actually want and then we're going to go to reset settings right so it's asked for the pin number so I'm just going to enter in the pin okay it says reset all network settings you can't undo this action so click there and there it says network settings have been reset and now I've lost my Wi-Fi so you're going to have to obviously redo your Wi-Fi password and stuff again right so let's try it now so let's go back into the Bluetooth menu more settings and now let's sync this up again right I'm just going to go to refresh here refresh right there we go so it's come up with that list of letters and digits there that is actually the wireless Xbox controller so what I need to do now is I need to click on this now it doesn't always go through the first time so let it run through the cycle once and if it doesn't work we'll click on it again 
just going to fast forward this one. Okay, so you can see it didn't go through that time, but let's click on it again. There you go, but it went through perfect the second time. So you'll often find that on the first time it won't go through, but then the second time it will. And now it says connected, and if you have a look at the top, the little Bluetooth symbol here has changed. It's now got two dots either side, and my controller's now gone to a solid light. So if I go to home, you can now see it moving around the place. Okay, and if I just go to a game, remember a lot of games are not going to work. This one particular game does work, Asphalt 8. Okay, so you get the idea. So hopefully that would have helped you out. So give that a go yourself, and then hopefully you will be able to get your Xbox One S controller to connect up to your Android phone. Now to disconnect your controller when you finish playing, if you were just to drag two fingers down and go to the Bluetooth menu again, you can see Xbox, Xbox wireless controller connected. You can just hit this X here, and then it will disconnect from it. There you go, and we've gone back to the flashing lights. Another way to disconnect the Xbox One S controller when you're finished with it on your mobile phone is just to hold this button down here for about five or six seconds. There you go, and now you see it's been disconnected from the Bluetooth. And remember, when you want to use this on your Xbox One console, again, you're going to have to resync the controller to your Xbox One console by using the sync button on the console and the sync button here, and then it will pair up to the Xbox One again. So hopefully you found the video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Thanks a lot. Take care now.